I like the coordination of these turtles. You know, the other turtles that we've seen so far all had to kind of get it together, you know? Right. <laughs> Stroke well, too never soon. Mind. Never mind. Let's kick some shell. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here, my lovely wife, Tana Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen It Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And if you've read by the title, you know it's time to go green for some more TMNT 2003 reaction. Yeah, man, last time we left off, we saw a familiar face, but it came because my man Ralph wanted to do a little training, but he wanted to be rough, causing him to hurt Michelangelo. So, you know, he thought he'll go out and catch a breather to work on his anger. But what he did was he found out that there was a person that was angrier than him in the form of a hockey mask wearing freakazoid dude by the name of Casey Jones. Casey goddamn Jones. And I ain't gonna lie to you, this might be my favorite version of Casey Jones because he's a little more underhanded than the um, one from 2012. Well, be talking shit. Jones is like a kid. This Casey seems to be an adult. Yeah, he's an adult, but I just like how, you know, rough around the edges he is. You know, he kind of like plays by his own rules and stuff like that. Not saying that 2012 doesn't need because he's also rough around the edges. You know, the guy is missing his front teeth so you know that that explains it all but yeah i love this version of casey man because he just is ruthless you know mm -hmm. <laughs> so the way he just makes rap like hey man you need to calm it down a little bit you know it's like rap trying to talk sense to somebody else and telling them how to control their anger and stuff you know they some badasses when they do that but uh, yeah, like apparently Casey has a vendetta with the Purple Dragon because uh, they, I guess, killed his dad, who was like mm -hmm. a local store owner or something like that. And, you know, throughout this entire episode, uh, Casey's trying to exact his revenge, but Rap keeps getting in his way and stuff. So um, that was something that just kind of played its way out. And apparently that's based off of a micro series issue called Me, Myself and I, which I guess centers around Raphael as well, which uh, kudos to the people who actually adapted the story. It's, it's nice to see the turtles in their truest form, you know, because that's one thing about me with Ninja Turtles. I, I still remember it's like, man, I thought I was really into some shit when I watched the old 80s cartoon. I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is dope. And I remember being over a friend's house and just yelling cowabunga. And this nigga had said, man, you think you really watch some song, man? Them baby turtles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm already a feisty kid. I want to whoop somebody's ass every time they try to disrespect my turtles. And he come and dropped the Mariah's comic right there. Come on, nigga, this is the real turtles. And ever since then, my mind was just blown. And I ain't want to fuck with nothing else. But, you know, things have changed. You know, we watch Rise. We watch all 2012. And now we're watching this. But, yeah, man, it's nice to see the turtles return to that. Even though this is for kids. But anyways, we're going to keep it moving, man. We're going to jump into this next episode, which will be titled Nano. So, uh, let's do this. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Donatello, got you. The fuck? <laughs> I get violated by a giant Megazord. <laughs> I'm gonna stick my dick up in this damn party wagon. This is gonna really be a party. <laughs> Real ass up. Mm. Experiment proceeding as planned. Nano machine, the son. Continue to work together as a colony, coordinated by the hive mind contained within the robotic cells. First test of its ability to take apart and reassemble mechanical devices. Uh oh. <laughs> so it just likes to eat up everything. What the shit? We'll turn it into a PlayStation Seven. Uh oh. Uh, oh please, I thought this was fixed. Mama. The mental structure of the hive mind is equivalent to that of a three-year-old child. It's personifying again. Ugh, ridiculous. Come on, man. That's kind of hard. That, right? Now, when they ass escape and start beating your ass, you're going to be confused. Same with this headache. Oh, I got a headache, too. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Uh-huh. They can dematerialize it, Will? Damn it, I was hoping they were just gonna beat her ass. I was hoping they wasn't gonna leave and terrorize the city. Somebody's gotta want one of these things. You think you're too good for me, is that it? 
Why I Yoda? Why I Yoda? Daddy! Daddy, I want one! <laughs> okay, okay. How much, pal? Five bucks. A bargain. <laughs> I'll give you three. Come on, bro. Stop being I cheap. Five dollars. <laughs> Cheap ass. Damn. It's wrong. Hey, you. <laughs> you ain't nowhere to be found. <laughs> Bitch ass. Thirteen bucks. Thirteen bucks. Man, oh man. Right. You thought you did something. Man, Sandy was broke. He didn't have it like that. <laughs> oh, you didn't see that. I'm gonna take all your shit now. You probably take your thirteen bucks too. <laughs> Alright, this man playing yeah. child support. Let's get the money for this shit. She was working with Baxter Stars. Hey guys, thanks for coming. I need all the help I can get. Mike, you can start by moving those big heavy boxes. Just let me put on my hernia dress. <laughs> right over there, wise guy. Plus, I've got a heater that won't heat. Hence, these. Got some pipes. That whole wall of antiques needs moving. Carefully. Hey, I'm a ninja. Not of your wish is our command. Don't be trying to get competitive with the shit. Not a turtle. I'm Zeddy. Definitely not. Ooh. I hope you don't mind. We brought along a friend. Yo, uh, Casey. <laughs> Casey Jones. Yeah, boy. Nice junk. It was my dad's. Oh, I get it. Why well, are you waiting for a real job to come along? You just hiding out in your pop's junk shop. This cool. Junk shop. shop. That nigga talk and shit. I'm not hiding from anything. Hey, whatever, babe. <laughs> hey, Rap. That's a two man job. Hey, you fuck up this girl's channel cabinet. Guys, guys, careful. A boy, a black grandma would never. A black grandma would have moved it herself. Or she would have been standing there with a bill. <laughs> or a switch. That sounds like a pill talker to a prostitute. <laughs> right, this is going to be Pinocchio all over again. I wonder if old girl then came back to her lab and realized her nano was on. Hey, okay, don't tell her. Hmm. Whip it. Uh -oh. No doubt. Yeah, my boy then came. We got a new jacket. Putting on a Ritz. Looking good. You are my lucky break, kid. My lucky break. Yeah, do that damn criminal lawyer, dude. The jewelry store that was robbed is right on my block. So that's why I asked you here for a sleepover tonight. Don't mm -hmm. worry, April. We got you covered. I feel so much better. I didn't invite Casey over for the sleepover. I might be like a creepo. The fuck? What is he doing? I don't know, just stand there and look badass. I guess. <laughs> Fraudzilla. I get not that ass gonna be sleep. Right. Stanking up the whole living room and shit. Because with your face, I can't tell if you're smiling or what. Oh, hell no. Now you're on a light nightmare fuel. <laughs> kid, what's taking you so long? This thing gonna get cussed out. What are you doing with those? Let's get out of here. You do what I say, right? I'm the daddy. Aww. Yeah, come on. We'll switch so, a room. What's your story gonna be? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, no, daddy. You know. Hey, Mike. That is like the people on both sides. Uh oh, bitch! Get your ass off my dad. You know, like Casey or Jones. Guys, can I have another snore? What? Shh. Noise. Downstairs. Don't tell me Donnie's gonna have to figure okay. this shit out. What is that? Uh -huh. Mushins! 
Just when things are finally going my way, we get invaded. Really? We get invaded. Yeah, I'm definitely my high. Right. Fuck your little whooshy backgrounds. None of that's gonna help you. Shouldn't you be having an idea right about now? Oh, what do you think he's doing? Just keep him busy. I knew you were gonna say that. Oh. <laughs> ah, shit. It's like putting on right guard deodorant. Yeah. It burns. The hell? So, uh, what's going on? I can't see anything. Guys, this stuff is moving. It's reproducing itself, and if each nanobot makes a copy of itself, and the copies make copies, this thing could really become unstoppable. Then we stop it now. Is there any way to trace this thing? Hmm. The nanobots have a unique power signature. Hey, I bet the tracker and the battle shell could get a lock on it. Really? And then once we find Robobo, well, as much as it pains me to destroy such amazing technology, it does seem to be susceptible to a team heat. Wait, you hear that? Sounds like a CGI van. Stolen stuff. Where is that thing? The locator says it should be right here. Oh, I know it's been used before, guys, but I'm getting a bad feeling about this. I would too. Yeah, I was like, man, this nigga is in the perfect spot. So we all ask. And thus we got to our little foreshadow part. Super thick now. <laughs> That's great. That is hilarious. What is Robocop 2? I'm getting an even better feeling about this. Even worse, sir. Uh, guys, Who ruined your birthday, nigga? Anybody want to tell me how we're going to do this? Like we always do, together. And it's so fast it can't rebuild itself. Now! <laughs> okay. Well, you'd be better off lighting your weapons on fire, but... Mm. Hey! I just had a little brief uh, smile. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Little ass swing throw. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker's gone. Devastator, destroy! So you can break that down if you wanted to. I don't see why you're going to eat it with nano machines. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Faster, Mikey! It's taking us Why is Mikey driving? Right? Let's punch it! <laughs> you take your damn motorcycle apart, you right. Yeah, take them out of the magnet. No, look out, kid! Yeah. Set this shit on fire, set it on fire. Damn. Turn that man's TV off. Looks like that, did it? Look. No. He's flat broke. Okay, and you know, I'm gonna stop with the punch. Seriously, <laughs> flat <laughs> broke. You. you could commit squeezing the damn thing. Yes, yes, my boy. Can you really think he's somebody daddy? Right. Like so maybe if you can stop being a bum, you can actually find you a wife and go have some kids. Then you have a real son. But nah, he don't need real kids. He's teaching how to steal. Rio, tell me you got a plan C. 
really hoping you got a plan C. Plan C at 12 o'clock. Do something. The fuck? Not hey, the creator? Oh shit. No, kid! Are you alright? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry
I need that license for the whole thing. Or is it really the whole South Street Seaport could go crumbling into the water? Really? I'd be fascinated by the technology. Damn it, nigga, man. Wu Tang Clan? He is the Alpha Dog, the Thrashmeister, the undisputed god of the half. Uh oh. Like playing Turtles in Time, man. Oh, you got the rollerblades? <laughs> Extreme, baby, rocket power. Okay, everybody got their own little. Mm, BMX rider. I didn't get my boy a little school. He probably was like the safest, so of course he gets the little baby scooter. Right, all of them got their little protective gear on, got the knee pads. Right? Well, don't be wearing knee pads anyway. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying. It just man, it goes well with it. I don't know what to do with Frank his teeth. Mmm. Y'all stressing this man. Shit. Why did I pick these turtles up? <laughs> Extreme green. Wow. Nice wiring job, Don. I guarantee it's not my wiring. Maybe. Now, you want to get your foot off my shell? <laughs> uh, keep that flame away from Mikey. He stopped down a whole chili pizza for dinner. Clearly, there is a power failure. I suggest you investigate and see if it can be fixed. I do not wish to miss my favorite program. That's one thing that every Splinter has in common, but they all like the TV. TV. <laughs> Them soap operas and shit. This whole side of town is dark. A substation must have gone out. This isn't right. Uh, Shouldn't there be some emergency lights? 2021 Texas yeah. blackout? It's totally <laughs> dark down there. Y2K? There's only one thing for us to do. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, let's get some points, guys. Break those Tony Hawks records. You really think we should be doing this? What if somebody sees us? That's the beauty of it, Leo. They no can't. one can see us. <laughs> it's pitch black. Hey, check this out. Nigga, please. <laughs> Didn't we fight these clowns once before? Yeah, and we nearly got waxed. Who's up for some payback? Oh, mystic sword. The thieves of the thieveries. Nintendo Power Glove. Let's go. Gift shops on the first floor, boys. But they don't take kindly to shoplifters. And neither do we. Let them know. I don't think these guys speak as... <laughs> you might want to consider a few things. One, you're outnumbered. Two, don't let the pretty faces fool you. We're tougher than we look. And three, we're about to get our butts seriously Y'all about to get... <laughs> That they are. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, okay. They can't prepare. Hell yeah, he on that 2012 Dunny shit now. Yeah. Oh. Saved by the shell. Check it out. Get it. You break it, pal. You bought it. Yeah, too slow, Ninja Ned. <laughs> hey, a little jousting. <laughs> Better watch where you going, my nigga. That's all. Cool. Way to pick up that spare. I like the coordination of these turtles. Right. Yeah, they know how to get down, man. Right, you know, the other turtles that we've seen so far all had to kind of get it together, you know? Right. <laughs> Stroke well, too never soon. Never mind. Never mind. Forget what I said. Forget what I said. It's Michelangelo's fault. I mean, when is it never his fault? <laughs> Get your ass. I'll be damned from going out like this. Oh, wow. Has his own built in solar flare technique. They don't want to do what he would expect that. Best two out of three. What was that? Now the police are gonna come, and they gonna think y'all the ones that were stealing. 
You know something about these ninjas? Where do they come from? Who do they work for? And what do they want with a magic sword? Nope, not magic. Probably more like a self-perpetuating oscillation frequency generator. Uh, That's too English much. Einstein, it packs a shockwave that'll knock you flat on your shell. We gotta go after these creeps. No. A wise ninja does not seek out an enemy he does not fully understand. But Sensei, Bushido demands that we fight for honor and justice and... Bushido also demands that you honor your master's <laughs> wishes. It's like Bushido is Bushido. Listen to me. <laughs> Shit. Tell y'all asses. Undergrounded again. Uh -oh. Okay. Let's go. We're finna get the business. Right. Be amazed at my nipples. Right. Cut them off. Uh oh. Gonna beat these niggas ass first. All right. Sorry, nigga, I ain't finished looking bad ass yet. I trust you bring good news. Your new thong, sir. A sword of Tengu. Your new thong. Still just as potent. What if that's what it was? These <laughs> years. Passed down from strata generations. Able to locate other artifacts that share its unique origin. Yes. This sword will help me track those that I have been hunting for all these years. Proceed with phase two. Yo! I knew that was gonna do that. What's up with the big cheese? He's been sounding in there all day. Yeah, it's that ninja symbol. It's got sensei all weirded out. I say we had topside. Kick ninja butt, take ninja dance, <laughs> find out the whole ninja story for ourselves. Reminding everybody to get on your bad side, dude. You ain't have to throw it up in the breezy puffs like that. Why are you trying to kill that? you on the first episode? All right. It's going anywhere. Guys, check this out. Looks like there's another blackout down by the South Street Seaport. I smell a rat. And I don't mean Splinter. To class of 6 9. Hang on, guys. Splinter told us not to go after the ninjas. He didn't say anything about not investigating power failures. Excellent. I have a few new surveillance toys I want to test. All right, huh? Wait up! It's tough being the leader. It is. I love how it don't matter what Ninja Turtles it is. Splinter always just be watching their ass right. how they sneak out. Are these motherfuckers gonna sneak out stupid? <laughs> right! How do we survey such a large area? I came prepared for that, too. I don't care. I'm dying to try this. Part. Gonna tell you? Mean you haven't tested it yet? Dude! How's he supposed to test a flying machine in the sewers? <laughs> Stay in touch with shell cell. You might be at a point. Theoretical aerodynamics. It's practically foolproof. What is it, dog proof? <laughs> I was like, is anybody noticing this shit? I'm picking up something strange down on the river. This is before the time of camera phones, so. Mm. They're searching for something under the water. I cannot believe there was a time before oh, camera phones, and I was alive for it. Oh my right. god. It's our ninja buddies again. They trying to find the 2001 Godzilla. Up to some kind of vibrational cannon. Some type of sex toy. We're there. <laughs> they gotta run on foot. Why? Why even do this to yourself? What is it? Oh, going down. Tell me what am I gonna do? Can you hear me? Say something, but. What was that? Man, that water stinks. But this is from a turtle who lives in the sewer. Right. So you know his ass thing. It is New York, so. <laughs> like New York stinks in general. I have a visual on the camera. No offense to all the New York dwellers out there. I only see two guys, but that just means the others are I've had people from New York tell me that it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think, I don't know. I hate it when he's right. Smells like kangaroo ass. Okay. It didn't say it smell like that, but they didn't tell me it smelled good. <laughs> the cool poses. There you go, turtle roll it off. Bitch! Batter up! Play right field! It's important, you know! And it's bringing back so many memories of the Nintendo The Power game. Ship stage on Donkey Kong. Oh, no, I was gonna say. Turtles in time, man. You know that 
that ship that got them boards that can pop up and hit them. I wonder if they're gonna do that on this episode. We found what we're looking for. Bring in aerial support. The last you scurvy sea dogs are shiver me timbers. Right. Be whooping your booty. Okay, about that blow me down part. <laughs> I don't swing that way, bro. Oh shit. Okay, see you can't. Thanks, bro. I think this teamwork effort gets the most improved. School's not out yet. That's one cool as shell chopper. Mm. Cool as shell. What's and whose chopper is that? Xanatosis from Gargoyles? Whatever it is, it can't be good. Why keep on being a blackout? They just taking up all electricity. All right, use the on PlayStation One codes over there. Now, boys, there's a small matter of some stolen property we need to discuss. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> you really shouldn't be playing with such dangerous toys. <laughs> yeah, don't try to run out, double trouble twins. Somebody please help us! Somebody please help us! Yeah. <laughs> Of course, I had to fuck it up. Now the sword's gonna explode. It's overloaded. I can't control it. Who cares? We're leaving. Fast as I've never seen a helicopter come down. <laughs> and y'all let them. Exactly. Y'all sat there and watched these niggas jump on this shit. Going overboard would be an understatement. The whole city can go underboard. Yeah. Hmm. Can you shut it down? Well, I might be able to disconnect the sword from the accelerator, but crossing the power terminator could result in a feedback loop that might die, whatever. Meantime, let's point this thing away from civilization. <laughs> ride it, man. It's like a bull ride. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I don't even know why you even tried it, sir. Yeah, exactly. Gonna take the damn power glove. Let's get out of here. <laughs> the design is unmistakably 11th century Japanese. But the metal is unlike any I have ever seen. Clearly there is more to this sword than meets the eye. Best that it remain out of the wrong hands. There you go. Were these the creatures you saw? <laughs> oh yes. Oh yeah. That will be all. Oh yeah. He probably gonna kill y'all. I think so. Some way down on the other side of that door, yeah. Come to Big Han, baby. I got the Vaseline in my room. These freakish thorns in my side must be removed. Permanently. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta play they it every time. It every time. It's like, can I get that drop? Ooh. But guys, that was, what was that? Episode 7? Yeah, episode 7. No, that was episode six. My bad. Darkness of the edge of town. Yeah, it was cool seeing the Turtle Bros get a chance to exploit that darkness, even though they got caught up in some other shit pertaining to the Foot Ninjas and stuff. You know, it's always that moment where they be up in like um, a museum of some kind because sure to be looking for them damn ancient artifacts and shit like that to help them do something else nefarious and evil. And that was the case for this right here. But uh, as you pointed out, they do seem to be in tune with each other a lot more for the, most part, for the yeah. most part yeah compared to until we spoke to someone that one time right but yeah it's like 2012 TMNT I think they they like these turtles got them beat Rise you already know mm -hmm. it took the Rise Turtles <laughs> damn near to the last episode to get right the, the 80s turtles they goofy as hell they silly so yeah it's not even a contest so yeah like, these turtles can be silly but yeah, they can be silly. Like, every turtle has the capacity to be silly, mm -hmm. but these guys, they seem like they're the perfect balance of silly, dark, and serious. You mm -hmm. know, they just, like I said, they're just basically animated versions of the, the live action turtles we got from the 90s and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, just a little more dialed down in terms of violence, but they can go there. It seems like, uh, 
we're seeing characters like Casey, like they gonna be hanging around mm-hmm. more with the turtles. You know, him and Ralph, they seem to be very cool and stuff. Yeah. I love that. Um, I'm kind of surprised that Casey and April haven't hit it off yet, but I guess they're just taking their time, you know? Yeah, they're taking their time arguing. Right, and fighting. Right. I thought they was going to open that door in the last episode and they was going to be making out <laughs> or having sex or something. I mean, no, they, no. they opened up the to, door and they was arguing. They got to start off with a massage before they do that, you know? That's how they always kick They're going to be massaging each other's face with each other's fists and getting <laughs> each other down. Right, you're going to open the door and see fucking April stumping on Casey's Right. Nuts. <laughs> you probably like that though somehow. Anyway, I give that episode. I give that one an A plus. It was a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an A plus as well. It was cool seeing like the shredder actually get in motion. He's noticing more and more that these damn turtle bros are just foiling his plans. You know, every time he comes up with something, so it ain't gonna be too long till we see him. You know, actually stop abusing his own henchmen and coming with the turtles' asses on top of a roof. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No Be there at 5 o'clock. No, no later than that. And when it's raining, because, you know, you got to have them dramatic effects with the thunderstorms and shit. You see them up in the opening where the niggas showed up. Watch out for Shredder. And they show a little lightning mm-hmm. flash and shit. That's how it's going to be. You're going to have them red cataracts mm-hmm. up in his eyes and stuff. But, um, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for us. To- <laughs> what? The red cataracts. You know, uh, those niggas probably just dropped. you mean to- contacts? No, them red cataracts. You probably just dropped uh, hot sauce up in his eyes for an added scary effects and shit you know he's so crazy he might am right probably go to taco bell and grab them fiery sauce packets <laughs> put up in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure. yeah. now i'm triggered for no reason but i have something that i need to do it's time to get down now for real but yeah uh that's <laughs> that's gonna do for us today guys we hope you enjoyed this reaction because as always we have a blast reacting to these things with you and for you as you can see me and john and are really enjoying Why this show just imagine shredder ordering some hot sauce packets from amazon right can i get some more hot sauce packets <laughs> Let me see. Let me, let me get some prime real quick. Right. They got the super high kind. Oh shit, that's kind right there. It's like, oh shit, they got the bottle. I ain't even got to order the packs. Next day delivery. Right. Fuck, they gave me the mail one. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Yes, I would like to do a return. Uh, I ordered the fiery. But yeah, um, if there's anything we missed or got misconstrued, by all means, provide the proper context. Subscribe to the Patreon so we can buy some hot sauce packets from Amazon. And give them the shredder. <laughs> But this is your boy RBG, my girl Johnny Lee on the ones and twos. We ain't seen the reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction too. TMNT 2003. Peace.